hip, hip, hooray for DNA. It provides the key to the plans for making everything in you and me. Welcome to one of the past HC exam question videos. We're going to do in this video, we're going to cover this exam question, which comes from the chromosome and inheritance chapter of the Blueprint of Life module. I'll do in a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I read the question, give about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question and then press play when you're ready. So the question itself is the flow diagram below is a representation of one pair of homologous chromosomes in a cell during meiosis. We have A, which is this part here. And then there's a process one, which leads to B, and then process two, which leads to C, and then process three, which leads to D. A, identify one characteristic of the cells labeled D. B, identify what occurs in process one, so here. C, identify where crossing over would occur, and explain how crossing over affects the inheritance of genes, and that's worth three marks. The rest are worth one mark. So pause the video and attempt the question, and press play when you're ready. Welcome back. All right, so for this one, what you have to look at, you have to look at the actual diagram. So we know here, process A, we've got our chromosomes. This would probably be our diploid number of chromosomes. We've got our full number of chromosomes. Then we, here something happens. And here we have our haploid number, which means half of our number of chromosomes. And this already answers the first question. So the first question says, identify one characteristics of the cells labeled in D, and these will have one, will be that they actually have the haploid number of chromosomes, half the number of chromosomes the original cell had. So I wrote, these cells have a haploid number of chromosomes, and that's enough to get you one mark. That's all it's asking you to do. Next is identify where it occurs in process one. So the process one was right here. And here we have our chromosomes, and you can see here they've obviously doubled. So this process one must be to do with doubling. So what I wrote is that we just double the DNA, and when we double the DNA, we also double the amount of chromosomes. DNA replication and doubling occurs at, chromosome, at process one, so where the number of chromosomes doubled. So because of the DNA being replicated, our number of chromosomes doubles. And that's also worth a mark. So at the moment, we've got two out of two. And then C. Identify where crossing over would occur. Explain how the crossing over affects the inheritance of genes. So first we've got to identify where it occurs. And that'll get you a mark. And then we have to quickly, just in a one sentence, explain what crossing over is and how it affects the inheritance of genes. All right, so crossing over would actually occur right here at B. And you remember that was when one of these will overlap with the other one. And then bits of this will, will change position. So bits of this chromosome will be on that chromosome, and bits of that chromosome will be on this chromosome. That's crossing over. So what I wrote is cross, uh, cross, or I wrote cross over, should be crossing over. Crossing over occurs at an early stage during meiosis, at the stage labeled B. That's enough to get you one mark, so if just that's all that the first part said. But to get the last two marks, we've got to make sure we explain how crossing over affects the inheritance of genes. So for what I did first, I explained what the crossing over is. The homologous pair of chromosomes, so these are our homologous pairs, line up next to each other and swap segments of chromosomes, swap segments of the chromosome between the pairs. And um, can occur create points with two sentences. I right, let me read that again, just stepping the grammar is again bad. The homologous pairs of chromosomes line up next to each other and swapping of segments of the chromosomes between the pairs can occur at the points where two strands are twisted. No, that's actually right. I had brain freeze. All right, so yeah, these points where these are, they'll meet and twist around, that's where we have our segments being shared or being, um, one moves to the other, the other moves back. And that means this is just what happens at crossing over, it gets you mark, and then what happens and, and what that actually does, this next part. This can result in a new chromosome being produced it's different from either parent and chromosomes, and hence uh, lead to increased variations. So here we had, beforehand we had just these chromosomes, but now because we had that swapping over where parts will be different from each other, that would be 
the X new chromosome will be a unique combination. That means that there's more variation. So the last part was just there's more variation because of that crossing over. And let's get your mark. So we've got three mark out of three for that. Just saying first where it happens and what it is, and then how that leads to increased variation, or that it just leads to increased variation. Just make that statement. And where did that question come from? It came from this dot point. Explain the relationship between the structure and behavior of chromosomes to meiosis in, and the inheritance of genes. That's more or less this question. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.